All right, something I just bought. I just bought this. Fully upgraded the car. And first time driving this. The EC Sport. Okay, doesn't... It's, a, it's based on the EC Compact. Doesn't oversteer like no not not, to, not to oversteer doesn't die really just doesn't lose all sorts of control no this car is reasonably well balanced although it is a compact make no mistakes it says sports but this is a compact so it's going to oversteer hard to drive it's not that well balanced as i was thinking it's well balanced until the corners start appearing Jesus Christ. Okay, oversteer galore. Oversteer galore. Wow, but it is re it's like a flash GT. Okay, I'm starting to understand this. Embrace the oversteer. Brakes are not needed. Not needed at all. At all. The car just drifts automatically. It does seem a bit slow, though. Does seem a bit slow. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> How? Okay, interesting car. Okay, okay, okay. Yay, yay, say, yay. Oh my. This would be a great compact. This would be much better in the compacts class, not on sports. Or usable in both. That would be cool. It's like a flash GT. It just drifts on its own. That's how you were meant to drive the car. Wow, on U-turns I can keep the revs up. Wow, it's impressive. Just on the straights, it's slow. Slow accelerating, slow with the top speed, slow, slow, slow. It's great on the corners. Despite understeering, it's control. It's not understeer, it drifts on corners. Yeah, I can take this at maximum speed and still be alright. Interesting, very interesting. Look at this. But, there it is, this is the problem. On the straights, it just doesn't have top speed. I'm flat out now. 142, yep, nothing special. I'm flat out right now. And it's, it's, it's so freaking slow in terms of straight line power. It's a rally car from what I understand, so it might be good off-road. There's a sub rally class that I will eventually test. On the sports class, there's a subclass for rallying. What can I say? Um, it oversteers, but trust me, this is not real oversteer. It's, it's like the Flash GT, it's the same programming. As soon as the, you start oversteering and the 
and you start to tailgate, spin out, fishtail, whatever you want to call it, the game automatically corrects that for you, so you easily drift. That's good and all, looks cool, but looks cool, fantastic, you can go fast through the corners, but you suffer in the straights. You just suffer so much. Very fun to drive though. So fun, so much fun. You're not going to win races with this, trust me. Brian D. Well, I mean, I know what I know now what I'm going to pick for kart racing. This or the Flash GT. The Pariah cannot compete with that. The Pariah cannot do corners at this speed. It's just so easy. So easy. Here's the problem. Here's the great problem. Straight line speed. That sound, oh, what the sound. Do I even need to break here? Out of curiosity, do I? Just barely, but yeah, breaks are almost not needed. Yeah, extremely fun to drive this. Extremely fun to drive. Wow, I bought this, I just bought this. I wanted this car, I love the looks. And it's a compact that, it's the best compact in the game. Love the car. So what can I say? <laughs> well, um, Drift King, you can, brakes are almost not needed in corners. You essentially turn in, you think that you are oversteering, but no, the game automatically corrects it for you and you go straight drifting through corners at great speeds. And that's it, I really don't have complaints. Problem, it's not on the pace simply because <laughs> it lacks top speed and acceleration. That's, that's really it. That's really it. That's really it. But it's a great car, would recommend buying this. Amazing machine.